Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Extended Loves. And we are looking at the message for uh, the love bomb, okay? The last love bomb that we did, parts one and two. Um, and you can also make sure you check out both of those messages on YouTube. Okay, and I'm trying to fix the sound here. So give me one second. Who no wants to play with me today? But I'm ready for the game. So let the games begin. There it is. All right. Now we got sound going. Okay, into it. So I thought it was interesting we, that we have the queen to the king of wands here. And with this queen of wands energy, okay, um, and the six of swords, this is someone who is um, basically they've walked away or they have, this was a queen of wands or somebody from the past, okay, but this person is still hanging around, okay, that we see. We do see someone who is, being manipulative when it comes to, to this queen of wands energy. Um, they're not being uh, honest. They are holding some information back here. You have the ace of pentacles, the four of pentacles, five pentacles here um, with friends in the reverse and social media. You know, this is an energy. This is equal give and take in the reverse here. So, you know, and then you talk about someone with more activity or someone who's really busy. So somebody is really busy um, and this person could be having communication with somebody online. So they could be talking to somebody in their DMs, um, you know, but essentially it's all leading up to hooking up with the third party. Okay. With the justice card in the reverse, the two of pentacles, this person is going back and forth, not being honest, you know, not uh, not being honest. This just talks about dishonesty. Justice in the reverse is all about an untruth or not being accountable about something here. And with the two of pentacles, this person is going back and forth. Um, and with anger here, I see you getting upset. And also here with endings and gather the four of swords in the reverse and the eight of wands, this represents a energy of someone who is stalking. Okay. So you may be out in public with your friends, maybe out at, you know, a social gathering, a place that you go on a regular basis. I would definitely watch out for that because it's an energy of someone who knows where you're going to be and they're going to show up wanting to have a conversation with you because you have stopped talking to this person. You have stopped communicating with this person. Okay. Um, like I said, you are at the end of your rope here. So, yeah, this is a, I don't see this. <laughs> I don't see this going in the best direction here, but let's go ahead and double clarify. <clears throat> what is this person <coughs> doing with this third party? <coughs> It's like they're being manipulative. You have the three of swords here. Like I said, this person is really good at trauma bonding. They're really good at manipulating a situation to, you know, as a cover to something else that's taking place. And now we have the king of pentacles in the reverse. <laughs> okay, king of pentacles in the reverse. This is somebody who is being very greedy, somebody who is not, not really being very honest. This is someone who wants to have their cake and eat it too. This is somebody who thinks that they can just exploit people. This is a very chauvinistic type energy here. We have the nine of wands. So this person feels as though they can do whatever they want and that they you know, like they're just going to stick around. They're going to be able to stick around. That nine of wands is like, I'm not going anywhere. Or this person does not plan on ever having to leave. So tell me about the ace of pentacles and the four of pentacles. What is this opportunity? There's some opportunity that's being presented to them. And they're not telling you the truth about this. We have the world in the reverse. 
<laughs> and I feel like this is the second time, but we have the world in the reverse here. Okay, this is, and again, I feel like this is the second time we've gotten this card. Um, <clears throat> but this is an energy of someone who is holding on to a situation that has ended, like this person is not going away. So again, this could be an ex, this could be somebody from this person's past, okay, that they have closed the cycle with this person, but this person is still hanging around. Gosh, if it was not this reading, I know I pulled that card recently, you guys. <clears throat> so, oh, nope, it was this one. Look, y'all, we, well, we got the world, okay? We got the world here. It's not in the reverse. It's in the upright here. But this is still, it talks about an ending here, okay? And we have the eight of swords with the nine of pentacles and the six of swords. So uh, underneath the deck here, you have the two of swords. So this was... Um, so the world in the reverse and the two of swords. Yeah, this was hidden. This was something that was hidden or this is something this person is holding back. They're withholding or trying to keep this information from you or this, this X a secret. But I feel like this person is coming in very strong or there's something going on with this person from the past and they're, you know, Things are ramping up with this person. I don't know if this ex is getting upset, if they're starting to cause problems with your person, like if they're getting into it, but there's something going on with this person. Tell me about the five of swords. Well, no, the four of pentacles, the ace of pentacles and the four of pentacles. Tell me about the ace of pentacles and the four of pentacles, please. And you have the King of Cups and the Nine of Swords. This is an energy of someone who is, I feel like this person is being distant because with that Nine of Swords, they are going through it with this other person. I feel like with this energy, with this Queen of Wands, I feel like there's like fighting going on between those two and it is going to be very obvious. You know what I'm saying? Like you're going to read into this energy with the five of pentacles underneath the deck. This person is trying to stay as far away from you as possible because they know that you are reading into their energy. Do you see what I'm saying? And you're going to know that something is going on with this person. And you're going to be like, well, why are you so bothered? You know what I mean? Like, who's got you all bothered? Like, there's nothing going on between us. It's got to be something. And <laughs> knowing you, Cancer, you are probably <clears throat> questioning this person in such a way that it's like you don't even need them to respond. Do you see what I'm saying? And especially if they don't respond, that's going to be like answers because the more and more you are hitting the, the nail on the head, the more and more quiet this person is getting. The justice card in the reverse also refers to someone who is not being accountable for whatever mistakes they made. They can know all day that they did something wrong, but they're never going to own up to it. This person, this is somebody who's, who will lie right in your face. They'll have red paint on their hands. Do you understand? And they will sit there and lie right in your face and say, that's not red paint. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yeah. Tell me about the justice card and the two of pentacles. Tell me about the justice card in the reverse and the two of pentacles, please. And we have the hermit. See, they're trying to, they're, this person is like, they know what they did. Do you see what I'm saying? This person knows what they did. And you know what this person did. Do you see what I mean? It's like, I don't know if this person is trying to think of something to say, if they're trying to come up with something whatever it is they're coming up with, it's not tr the truth here with the 10 of swords under the deck. Like this person 
is almost like they're running into a wall. They've run themselves into a wall, just like the Nine of Swords. Both of those cards talk about somebody who has hit a dead end. Somebody who has, they pretty much are at the end of themselves. Okay. They have lied and lied and have hurt you and have betrayed you so many times. They can't come back from that. Do you see what I mean? They can't come back from it. And I feel like this person is trying to stall you out. They're trying to come up with another, you know what I'm saying? Lie, but you've had enough. And I feel like with endings and gather, I feel like this person, once you walk away from this person, they're going to do everything they can in their power to try to, you know, get you to talk to them or to try to get you face to face for whatever reason. Tell me about this. Tell me about this four of swords in the reverse. We have the fool. This talks about a new beginning, wanting to start over or someone who is feeling very vulnerable underneath the deck. We have the three of wands. So again, this person feels extremely vulnerable since you walked away. It's like an energy of this person feeling like they don't know what to do. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> they don't know what to do. All of this is an energy of someone who is deciding to leave. Like they're just deciding to go. They're not even thinking about it. They're just, they want out. You have the six of swords here. You have the nine of pentacles here. You have the six of swords twice. Okay. You have the eight of swords you have the world. I can't. There's just so much here. So, yeah. This person wants out. So let's look here. Um, let's go ahead and look to see what... <clears throat> the challenge is cancer what is the challenge um what is it that you're facing that you need to be aware of when it comes to this person or the third party because like i said the third party is somewhere in the background woofing at the same time now whether this third party is has found out about you i don't know no let's find out what is it that this third party and this person are going at it about? But it's going to paint a picture as to what's going on here. Okay, so we got the lovers here. With the Seven of Swords, the Ace of Wands, the Three of Cups, the Page of Cups, the Two of Cups, and the Sun. Okay. Okay. So basically what has happened was, <laughs> what has happened is that this third party basically found out about the connection your person has. So your person's got a double whammy going on. Okay. Okay. Your person has a double when you have the situation happening with you. This person also, things were heating up. That's why we have anger here coming through and we have future. Okay. Um, like, and we have endings with an S. Multiple endings are taking place. This person is not just going to get left by you, but also by the third party. Okay. This person with the seven of swords and the ace of wands, like they're going to find out that this person was still sleeping or sleeping with you behind their back, even though <clears throat> it was over, even though they say it was over, there, there was never really an ending here. There was never really an ending with the three of cups, the page of cups, the two of cups and the sun. You have the three of cups twice at six, six cups here. I feel like this is all about friends and the truth. I feel like there's an energy of this person is either going to find out like there's going to be friends that are going to be coming and telling 
the truth here or this person, you know, Yeah, I feel like there's an energy of uh, looking for an apology, but um, this truth is going to come out on both sides. This person is hiding it. They were hiding it from you, but they were also hiding the situation from, from this Queen of Wands. I don't feel like this Queen of Wands is coming towards you in any negative ways whatsoever. I feel like there may even be an energy of you may have a conversation with this other third party. Like you may sit down and have a conversation with this person and find out everything. Okay. I think you're, this is how you're going to find out the tr truth here. Queen of Cups and the seven of wands under the deck with the judgment card. Yeah, this is how you're going to find out the truth, Cancer, about what this person is doing. This person had no clue. Tell me about the lovers, the seven of swords, and the ace of wands. Tell me about the lovers, the seven of swords, and the ace of wands, the five of swords. This person was playing mind games with not just you, but with this person. The emperor under the deck, this person was acting as though they were committed to you, and then they were telling this person they were committed. Okay? But they were doing this. They were going back and forth forth between you and this person. Tell me about this three of cups here in this page of cups. Three of cups and the page of cups here. Four cups, six cups, and the two of cups. Tell me about the three of cups, the page of cups, and the two of cups. The ace of pentacles. This talks about... Um, something that was supposed to last. It was supposed to last. This is a, something new, okay? Um, there's an energy of... Yeah, there's an energy of, I feel like these, these are karmics i feel like like maybe this could be a group of friends i feel like you may know this person nine of cups underneath the deck i feel like cancer i feel like you've known that there was something going on Nine of Cups is an energy of someone who is, you know, this talks about some wish fulfillment, okay? And this particular Nine of Cups, it's like this person is looking up at the cup that's missing. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like, where is my 10th cup? You know what I'm saying? Where, where is it at? Why is it not here? You know what I mean? Like this person is looking up and they're realizing like my 10th cup is not here. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, we're supposed to be manifesting. We're supposed to be doing this together. So like, why, where are you? Why are you not here with me? Tell me about the queen of cups here with the seven of wands and the judgment card, please. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, tell me about this Queen of Cups, the Seven of Wands, and the Judgment card. Five of Cups. Yeah, I feel like you're realizing that it is not, it, it's no longer worth it to even fight for this connection. Like that you are now in the agreement. I feel like there's an energy of realizing, okay, after being here all this time, realizing that all of this was for nothing. Do you see what I'm saying? It was like you were manifesting, but you were really doing this all by yourself. 
And there's an energy of you were content doing this until you opened your eyes. It's like you knew it this entire time. And I keep seeing this, the strength card under the deck. See, I feel like there's an energy of you were, you knew the truth, but you were holding back. There's an energy of you were just waiting until you had solid proof. Okay. Or a motive, more motivation. And I feel like this is just the end of the road for you. Seven of Pentacles. Both of these cards talk about being patient. I feel like you were, you were extremely patient with this person, even though you knew the truth, even though you knew that it was a, a mere disappointment, even though you knew that this person was lying, even though you knew this person was cheating even though you knew that you were going to get your heart broken in the end, you waited, you gave this person chance after chance, after chance, after chance, and they didn't do right. So what is the advice here? I'm going to pull some Oracle first, and then we will look at the tarot. What is the advice for cancer? Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Tell me about the advice. Make sure if you guys are new to the channel, I am going to go ahead and release this extended, but I am going to be doing the winner announcements for the weekly winner announce winners, weekly winners for the free um, three question reading. Okay. So I am going to be pulling six winners on today, y'all, because we completely missed it last week because I was just healing and resting and just everything was crazy. So I am going to be announcing six winners on tonight to make up for missing last week. So please hashtag win, hashtag free reading in the comments if you would like to be included in tonight's drawing, okay, for a three question personal reading with me. If you would like to book a reading with me, however, please, please make sure you click on the link in the description box below. I am going to be uploading some more reviews. I have some personal uh, readings that I have recently done, and uh, some of my clients have been kind as to give me feedback, and I just want to post reviews on my community page. Go and check that out. And uh, if you would like to book a reading with me, please, please go to the website. The link is below. So we have success and then we have time fall. Okay. Happiness and love, prosperous career, good health, healing, financially stable. And we have the fall here. So I feel like coming up, I feel like there is an energy of you know, these next few months, this is like coming up in the future, um, that things are going to stable out for you, or there's going to be someone new coming into your life. Um, cause this does say you are going to be happy in love here, organize underneath the deck, clean space. And then we have gratitude, practice gratitude daily. See what I'm saying? I feel like there's an energy of you know, spirit is advising you to start being grateful and giving thanks now because your person that is just for you is being, is already being made. You see what I'm saying? It's, it's coming towards you. So you need to rearrange your space, get everything cleared up and ready for this new person to come in. So you've got to clear this old funk and gunk out, okay, before someone new comes in. That's what Spirit is saying. Don't focus on the old anymore, not even what is currently hanging around, because that is not what is coming towards you here. So this is happening in the future. The fall is not here yet. We're several months away from the fall. So we're getting close, but it's not here yet. We're just now entering spring, <laughs> y'all. We got two more two more seasons to get through. Let's let's give us a chance to get through spring and summer. Okay. And then fall will be here. So in two seasons, 
from whenever this situation happens, when you decide to move on from this person, that's when new love is going to come in for you. Healing, okay? Tell me about the success here and the fall. Tell me about success and the fall. So look, we have the tower and we have the hanged man. See, there's an energy with that tower. This is just all about rebuilding. The foundation is there. It's still a good foundation. Everything is not ruined. There's still hope. With that hanged man, though, there's an energy of needing to make sure everything is clear. You know what I'm saying? There's still something hanging on. There's still uh, something that's like hanging on or a stronghold, something that needs to be cleared away before you move on to this next thing here. Okay. Underneath the deck, you have the page of wands. So there's an energy of, and the three of wands here, which is funny because there's an energy of not, not moving on too quickly. See what I'm saying? That page of wands is an energy of something who's like, they're just going. You give them like a grocery list and they just take it and run. They don't sit there to clarify anything or make sure they've got everything. And the next thing you know, they're calling you in five minutes. So as soon as they hit aisle three, they're calling you because they didn't get clarity before they left. So make sure you have clarity on the energy before you walk away. So there, there's an energy of making sure you have all of the information, okay, um, before you clear, clear out, okay? So you want to make sure all those skeletons are gone, all the negative feelings from the past have been cleared away before you move on, okay? Tell me about organize and gratitude. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Tell me about organize and gratitude. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. And we have <laughs> the Queen of Wands. Underneath the deck, the Ace of Cups. So this is, again, this is talking about somebody from the outside coming in. This is about something new. This talks about new love. This talks about having intimacy, having a, a deeper level in your connection, okay? And this is coming towards you. This is saying, get ready. You know what I'm saying? Be confident because this love, this person, this, this person is coming towards you. This could be a fire sign, okay? Cancer, this could be a fire sign here. Wow, with the Empress here, there. this is gorgeous. The Ace of Cups and the Empress here. So with the Seven of Cups, like this is gonna be somebody that has literally like sought you out Okay, I mean, this this is somebody who has sought you out. And I feel like you're going to have a lot of people who are looking at you or there's an energy of this person may have a lot of people looking at them, but this person is reaching out to you, Cancer. So new love is coming towards you in the future here. Well, that's gorgeous. So we are going to have a gorgeous uh, part two, the extended. I'm going to look at the future predictive oracle for you for this new person coming in because we got a lot of factors to this situation here. So gorgeous reading for you guys. I am going to upload this to the channel. Make sure you guys like the video. Like, like, like the video. Like the video. It doesn't hurt, you know. Like the video. Like it like the video. <laughs> I don't care. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. You guys, I do that giveaway every month. Everything I give away on the monthly giveaway is below. And tonight I am getting online and I'm going to go live. All right. Pretty soon, shortly after airing this message, I will be going live to announce the winners for the week. All right.
I love you guys. Take care of me. Take care of yourselves. God bless. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.